Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a lid for my new fish tank. Where I live is quite cold here in New Zealand, especially at night time. The temperature can drop down to 10 or 15 degrees Celsius, which is quite a bit different from the 24 degree water in the tank. As you can see here, this is a rimless glass tank and it is an aquascape. So we want to preserve the simplicity of the setup. This is a 60 centimeters by 40 centimeters tank. What I got here is a piece of acrylic that is exactly the same size. I found this in a art and supply store. This is, I think, is a 5mm piece of acrylic. Without this lamp, this piece of acrylic can, can sit on top of the tank exactly. It fits quite nicely, but unfortunately, because of the design of the leg of the lamp, it stops the acrylic slide all the way in. So what I gotta do here is to cut this whole piece of acrylic in half and slide it in like so to avoid the legs you can see here this lamp got this annoying little piece sticking out i don't know what this is for it's got two on each side i'm gonna cut these out besides this i need to cut a space for the hoses to go through i'm gonna make them like this so i don't have to cut too much over here one other thing I forgot to mention is the acrylic here because of its flexibility and it's, it's quite heavy because it's 5mm. When I put this across the tank for overnight, it sags down a little bit so the whole acrylic bends in the arc. So what I do to fix that is in the first night I use it in this orientation and the second night I flip it over and it will self-adjust the curvature to, to, to make it flat again. That means I need to cut the holes for the for the the piping on both sides and to make it identical so I can swap them around and flip them around. Okay cool now let's get to the workshop. This is the next morning. I have just put this lid back on. As you can see, it's already started to steam up. Because the water is hotter than the air around it, it steams up and heat is releasing and rising. So putting a lid on can capture that heat a little bit better and trapping the moisture. The lid was actually full of water droplets and it is quite a substantial amount of water. Just showing that the lid is working. After the light is heating up, the middle section is not steamed up, so I think it won't weaken the light. So I guess you could use the lid in winter as well. It kind of works similar like turning on the heat on a car windshield. I have drilled some holes on top of the lid. Part of the reason is for air circulation. I know that the plants need more oxygen at night. What I do is to rise up the filter outlet so it will disturb the water to put in more oxygen. Another thing is that I can grab the lid much easier using the hose, like that. Here you can see the sagging of the acrylic I was talking about early on. You see there's a gap here, versus in the middle, there's no gap. So the entire piece of acrylic is actually sagged down. 
So what I do um, tonight is I will flip this piece, piece around and use it on this side. And then it will snap back in shape. This is spring autumn in New Zealand. So I won't be using this lid during the day. Because I think it will weaken the light and it won't, it's not looking as good. Putting the lid under the light just for a few minutes. I can feel the heat in the middle section here. I think that will put a yellow tint to the acrylic over time and weaken the acrylic. But I think I will use this during the winter. This has been a fun project for me. I think you guys can make your own lid at home using minimal tools. You don't actually have to use a Dremel for these cuts. I actually re regret it a little bit because the Dremel is harder to control when I slips and it it puts like a divot on a straight edge. I should have used jigsaw on this. I think the lid worked pretty well. It's quite minimal. It doesn't catch too much attention when you put that on. As I was saying, a tank like this is made for you to enjoy the content inside. You want to set up the equipment to be as minimal as possible. That's why I think the lid here works pretty well. It's not too bulky. It's not invisible, but it is transparent. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please check out the other video where I actually escaped this tank. If you guys enjoy aquascaping and DIY projects, please subscribe to this channel and thank you for watching.